In this video, I'm going to show you how to run the mesh concept in Madden 23 out of the Trips Tide Inflammation in the Detroit Lions playbook. What's good, Madden? Uh, YouTube, my name is Cody. want to thank you for watching the video. If you want to get better at Madden, make sure you hit the sub button. It's free to subscribe. We upload new videos every single day trying to help people get better at the game of Madden. Now, today we're taking a look at one of my all-time favorite concepts, and that is the mesh uh, concept out of the trips tied information we're going to recreate this concept mesh is kind of a general concept um, that i think is just a really 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 good concept if you take a look here there's different uh different variations of the mesh now in madden it's a little bit different than in real life because of the way the routes work in the game we're actually going to be kind of simplifying uh, mesh a little bit for you in this example uh, that's going to help you beat man to man help you beat zone pretty much everything that you're going to face online. So the way that I like to run mesh and the only thing that you need, uh, in my opinion, to run this effectively, I do think that outside apprentice is very, very helpful for this. If you don't have outside apprentice, it's not the end of the world. We're going to show you something you can do, but I do personally prefer to have outside apprentice. Now that being said, we're going to be in trip side in, in Detroit. If you want to get my entire trip side in offensive ebook, Make sure you join our Patreon. It's only $10 to become a Patreon member. Get you access to all of our ebooks. I'm going to be dropping a brand new uh, ebook this week. Uh, new offense coming out this week and a new defense coming out. We've got 18 ebooks. We're going to have 20 ebooks in there by the end of the week. So make sure you're a Patreon member if you're not in there already. Um, and the play is PA slot court. I'm going to show you how to make this a really good mesh play uh, for your offense. So we're going to be going over PA slot corner. And mesh is basically this. Um, and, and there's different variations of mesh, but essentially the mesh concept is really two drags. Now in real life, these drag routes, they're going to sit against zone and they're going to continue to run against man. So it would look kind of like this. If I was in a two by two set, this is a, a little bit of a oversimplification, but it would look something like like this basically these two drags and then you would have some kind of vertical pulling routes uh, to get open it might even look something like this for example they would they would hook up against zone now if it was man then it would look more like this where they drag across okay uh, so that is kind of the idea or the concept now really mesh is designed to be more of a check down read for you uh for your offense it's not necessarily the primary read it's actually more of a check down what we want to do is we want to try to play pitch and catch if you will with our outside receivers and then we want these underneath drags to kind of serve as a check down so we're going to drag both inside uh trips receiver and the inside tight end and then we're going to see route this outside trips receiver so you see here this is one of the best variations of mesh out of a three wide receiver set we can also wheel the back out of the backfield this is a really really good play for the current meta of this game right if it is man to man we know that this c route on the left side is one of the best man beaters in the game so if they're in man-to-man -man coverage i've got a really good shot at hitting this c route against man coverage consistently okay now what this is going to force your opponent to have to do is it's going to force your opponent to take that defender and he is going to have to commit him to this c route so he's going to do something like this he's going to put him in outside third a lot of people are really liking this cross man as well within the outside third so you see it looks something like this this is going to now open up the middle of the field the zones are going to fan out to stop our c route and it's going to open up the middle of the field where our mesh routes are and where this post route is so you'll take a look here what you're going to notice is first and foremost this drag is going to be open please take your drags these mesh routes are so good and you want to force the user to have to come down and defend a mesh route now the beauty of these routes also is the fact that it's very difficult for the user to guard both mesh routes it's very very difficult for the user to actually defend both of them you want to be patient with this and really what i like to do is you want to look right down the right down the middle of the field of the mesh play of about where they're going to mesh so i'm looking left down looking in the middle i'm going to read both routes at one time if you will and you want to just kind of dice it up the defense and say okay uh, i'm looking straight down the middle the right side's open i'm gonna throw the right side i'm looking straight down the middle left side's open i'm gonna throw the left side if the user jumps to either one of the mesh routes which will uh, will give you an example of that here so let's say that the user um you know let's say that, let's say that they're doing the cross man deal uh and the user here in this case ryan is going to jump underneath to go guard one of these mesh routes 
He's got to come super underneath because um, that's what they have to do to defend it. But they also have to go to a side. So he's going to come down, maybe lurk underneath. And then what I want to do is hit this post over the middle of the field right there. Okay, That's the basic formula for this. And essentially, if you think about it, really it's going to practically more play out like this where they're going to come down and then they're going to have to proceed to use that drag across the formation and then what's going to happen is it's going to leave this uh this post open in the middle of the field now this running back route is actually a really critical route i'm going to get to it in just a second but what you're going to see is they're going to come oh he's going to that tight end so i can throw that route you've got to be a little bit patient with this concept because if you're not you can get lurked in the middle of the field if that user goes back to the middle you've got to take your check downs which are your mesh routes crossing the formation now you might say, Cody, what about zone coverage? That's where this running back route really comes in handy. So what you're gonna notice with this running back route is it's actually gonna clear out every zone on the right for this post late. So if it's a drop eight zone, like a cover four or cover three Mabel, something like that, you're going to, that's covered, those two mesh routes, they're going to one of them to user, and then you see the post routes running open to the sideline. So if even if the user says, I'm gonna hang on that post, and then I'm gonna bail back down to the drags, which can happen, um, then you're gonna have you're gonna have this uh, this wheel route clearing out the zone. So left's not open, the mesh route, let's say they use or that, and then you can throw this ball right there against the zone coverage. It's very effective um, against man and zone coverage in this game. So they have to play zone on the left side to take away everything we can do. And really, if you think about it, this is gonna set up some of our other concepts because this play right here requires you to drop eight. It is very difficult uh, to defend this play in a blitz scenario. So let's say they man this is a great play against the man blitz, essentially right here. If that safety goes in, then we're gonna throw right out there and he's already out leverage. A lot of times you'll break that tackle and you're gonna be in good shape, right? If the safety on the right side, let's say that they do something um, kind of unique. Let's say that they uh, man that guy up on the running back and then they have this guy on the tight end because they're kind of anticipating what you're doing. This is where you've got to be quick on your feet a little bit. Realize it's man-to-man. -man. Um, so now they go out there, and then I have this route over here on the left side, uh, the C route. I also have the drag coming underneath it um, to kind of put me in a position where I can handle a lot of the things that people are going to throw at me from a defensive perspective. Now, another little piece of, of kind of a little uh, variation is you can put this, this um, inside receiver on a slant, and what you'll notice is he'll just beat man just a little bit better. He'll beat man real quick over the middle. Obviously, their user is going to be usering over the middle as well. So, kind of illustrate this. So, you know, you see here this safety. Pretty, pretty rare that you're going to get this kind of concept, honestly. Um, but typically, what you'll see here is this quick throw of the running back is very effective against the man to man pressure. And then you can also um, hit this drag coming underneath if they. You know, if they, for whatever reason, kind of out leverage themselves by manning that running back up. This is going to force them to have to start dropping defenders because you have so many quick reads on this play. Um, it's really hard to defend quick. So I can hit this back quick and I can take my, you know, three, five yards, try to break tackle and put myself in a pretty good spot. So mesh is an incredible concept. There's so many variations. This is one of them. You can go ahead and block this guy if you want to. So you can easily block this guy, and now you're going to have that as well, you know, so you can have a little bit of extra protection if you want to. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to learn my entire Trips Tied In offensive ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up for that, and the link is down in the description. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page.